Hello and good morning. We are back, uniform and all. Now, I know some of you want me to fix the pips, but it's, it's like it's not actual metal pips. I can't fix it, so I apologize. Um, anyways, but so today's video um, is brought to you, one, by insomnia because I'm quitting caffeine. And paradoxically, one of the side effects of quitting caffeine is insomnia. Um, but we'll call it a Pyrrhic victory because eventually I will be free of caffeine. Now, let's get into it. The, the, the purpose of today's video is to go over some of my latest polls. Now, of course, uh, fans of the channel, you know that I'm constantly running polls. And really, this has been perfectly like transformative for me because um, I get a lot of ideas from the audience. And sometimes I'm really surprised by kind of where people are. So let's unpack it. So this one, this first one was uh, inspired by actually a comment in a previous poll which was basically like, you know, what, like, we need to find a definition of AGI. And I was like, well, why don't we use the community? So I jumped into my Patreon Discord community and we said, okay, like, what are the characteristics of AGI? Um, and it was great. It was like a really, like, so many people jumped in and we came up with a few clusters of characteristics or traits that AGI might have. Um, now, everyone has their own, you know, opinion and their own view. And so I tried to capture the breadth of those clusters. And so we came up with four clusters of characteristics that AGI might have. So spontaneity and improvisation. So basically, this is the idea to kind of improvise through new situations, um, initiate changes, those sorts of things. So spontaneity was identified uh, as well as improvisation as kind of a cluster of, of characteristics. Now, very similar to that is agency and autonomy. So this is, you know, the ability to carry out tasks on its own without human oversight. Autonomy is also likewise, you know, the ability to take care of itself or self-improve, those sorts of things. So this one could be more about independence, you could say. Um, so you, again, there's a lot of overlap between some of these clusters, um, which, you know, that's fine. Um, and then the third one was consciousness or sentience, because, of course, this one comes up. Some people say, like, it will never be, you know, true AGI unless it is conscious. I see that comment more often than not, um, but I wanted to see, like, how common this sentiment is. Um, and, uh, and then finally, embodiment and instrumentation. There is a very strong cohort of people, um, both in the audience and in my community, that think, like, embodiment and the ability to use implements, like, either in a simulated environment um, or the real world, which might still be a simulated environment, let's be honest. Um, but anyways, the ability to extend its own functionality um, by by either being embodied, you know, having physical hands or some way to dexterously manipulate the, the world or being able to pick up and use other tools like, you know, hey, I, I can use a thing. Um, now, so those are the four main clusters that we came up with for the first round. And so the data is really interesting. Now, we're only at about 379 votes right now. Usually by now, the pattern is kind of established. So even once it gets up to like 5,000 votes, it'll probably be a pretty similar pattern with maybe, you know, a couple percentage points. And so, um, you know, 50%, uh, just, a, just shy of a, of a true majority, say agency and autonomy. So that's not entirely surprising. 25% say spontaneity and improvisation. So those, again, very similar cluster of traits. So what we'll probably do is break these four down um, into subcategories. Uh, consciousness and sentience, again, a pretty strong cohort, um, 18%. And then finally, only 8% with embodiment and instrumentation. So that's actually, I think this last one is the most uh, surprising to me. And the reason that this one is surprising to me is because you know, I've been coming around because when I first got started with, with large language models and now we have multimodal models, I thought, you know, this is obviously enough to get us to general intelligence. Yes, it's not going to be like, you know, a million percent better than humans at all things, but it's certainly darn smart already. Um, and so, like, I've been convinced <laughs> over time that embodiment or, or you know, the multimodal experience of being an agent in a complex environment is actually probably going to be beneficial on getting us towards AGI. Now, that's not saying that it won't be helpful. That's not what this poll is. This poll is about what is, what is the most important characteristic. So the most important characteristic is agency and autonomy, which that has emerged as like, okay, in the age of agents, people are saying, okay, you have, you have, agent swarms and you have agentic, you know, software stacks put into robotic bodies, that's close enough for most people, it seems. 
um, spontaneity and improvisation. That's a really interesting one that came up, which, you know, it's kind of intuitive, but it, it, at least it wasn't in, in my head. Um, so I'm really grateful to the community for suggesting that. But yeah, so uh, we, will, we will continue winnowing this down to try and figure out like what are the most essential characteristics or criteria for AGI. So stay tuned. Now, the next one was, um, so you know me, I have my prediction that we will have AGI by September of this year. Um, there is a growing cohort of people that believe that uh, AGI has already been achieved internally. I think last time I ran the poll, it was about 30%, maybe it was 20%. Anyways, a, a, a non-trivial amount of people believe that AGI has been achieved internally, but they're sitting on it for various reasons, namely safety testing. Um, now that we know that you know Tesla and OpenAI and Google and Microsoft, they're all working with the military. So I wouldn't be surprised if the military just said, hey, could you guys sit on that for just a little bit? Um, Pure speculation on my point. Um, you know, it's it's not unreasonable to think that something like that would happen. There's also been some more revelations about like the Q Star leaks. Like um, I don't know if you saw it, but there was uh, allegedly a, the leaker outed themselves and say, "Oh, this was just a PR stunt." Anyways, getting off topic. So this poll was basically um, kind of a response to many of the comments in the last time I ran the temperature check poll just a couple days ago about, you know, AGI by September 2024 this year. A lot of people were like, no, this year is too soon, but definitely 2025 or 2026. So I was like, that's a worthy poll. Let's run it. And this actually kind of surprised me. It was, it's almost two thirds of you out there in the audience say AGI by the end of 2025, which is just all right, like this, the, like this is getting real. And some of the comments out there are hilarious. Some people are like, five years ago, we weren't sure that it was happening this century. And now it's like, you know, okay, I might be early, but I'm not wrong, right? If, if it comes 2025 or 2026, that's still really, really soon in the grand scheme of things. And I'm okay if I'm off by like, you know, a few months or a year or two. Uh, but I think that I think that there is, at least in my audience, there's consensus growing that it's coming uh, relatively soon. Um, now, of course, you know, almost 40% say like, no, y'all still tripping, which is entirely possible. Um, you know, I will be the first to admit that there might be some algorithmic barrier or data barrier or computational constraint. There might be something that prevents us from being able to get to that threshold. Now, one of the most common comments that comes up is, well, Sam Altman says it's not AGI and we're not going to have AGI anytime soon. Remember, the, 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 the legal stakes of saying we have AGI is actually really high for OpenAI and Microsoft. So right now, for, for legal reasons, for PR reasons, for contractual reasons, I personally have come to believe, and this was not my idea, this is from reading the comments and some of the information that you guys bring to me, but I have come to believe that, that Sam Altman will probably not admit AGI and that Kind of what it is, is it's almost like a game of chicken. And and you guys actually talked about this a lot in the comments was nobody will admit to having AGI first because one, they're going to get attacked. They're going to get scrutinized. They're going to get sued. There might be contractual and legal obligations and all kinds of other stuff, all kinds of political stuff wrapped up in whether or not it's AGI. Um, and so that is going to really muddy the waters because you have the political dog and pony show, you have the, the media landscape. And so it really won't, it probably will not be until, you know, Congress passes an act or all of the mainstream media talking heads are like, we have AGI. And then the corporations will be like, what grudging? Yeah, we had AGI for like the last six to 12 months. So, but whatever, it's not that big. Like, I think you guys are probably right in kind of reading the tea leaves into, into kind of the, the games that are going to be played around it. Um, anyways, so this was, this was an interesting result. I'm a little bit surprised. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so this poll was suggested by, uh, also by my Patreon community. Um, so basically one of my patrons wanted to know, like, what are the most likely P doom scenarios that people are afraid of? And it, it panned out pretty much how I expected. Uh, so the, the, at only 11% is just pure runaway AI. So this is kind of where I've arrived. And again, I know that this is an audience poll. So um, if you guys are watching me, you probably more or less agree or disagree on some things, whatever else. But there also seems to be some convergence on this where I'm not really afraid of AI. Like we can align AI and, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to align it. Now, 
AI as a technology is going to obviously reshape our society, um, but we are the biggest danger to ourselves. So runaway AI, only 11%, nuclear war, 16%, synthetic bioweapons, uh, you know, like gain-of-function research, 30%. This is the plurality. And this has really emerged through through all the you know security and geopolitical blah, blah, blah. Um, this has basically emerged as the biggest risk. And the reason is because, you know, one, we just live through a global pandemic. And so we all know, like, okay, these bugs are completely indiscriminate. Um, and if AI raises the, you know, the threshold of like what it takes. And I actually had lunch with a friend of mine, um, my, my machine learning, my reinforcement learning researcher friend. And he said like, yes, if these tools, uh, he agreed with, with kind of this general sentiment, which is these tools greatly lower the barrier of entry in order to have, you know, someone do this. And basically the way that he said it was his fear, his, his biggest fear of AI is that it makes it so that some like, you know, basement dwelling, angry teenager could eradicate humanity through synthetic bioweapons. And he's like, to him that like, it's still an outside possibility, but it, the fact that it is within the realm of possibility, the fact that it is a non-zero chance now, because think about it like 10 years ago, the chances of some, some one, one person, one angry person in a basement somewhere creating a synthetic bioweapon was for all intents and purposes, absolutely zero. It is no longer zero. And as these things get smarter, that the, the possibility of that goes up. Now, what was interesting in the poll results was suggested doing like, okay, what about two or more? And so I was like, okay, let's let's do that. And so um 30% say this, but another 23% say two or more seem likely and probable. And only 20% say none of them seem really probable. So it's like, okay, you know. Uh, yes, my P doom is 30%, but judging by this poll, it seems like y'all's P doom is higher. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now granted, this is what is most likely. I'm not saying what do you think will actually happen? This is a question of what is most likely. So again, it's, you know, statistics or statistics. Um, you know, what is it? There's lies, damned lies and statistics. So take it all with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, so definitely agree. This is the biggest single threat to humanity. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. So I figured out how to get channel members into the webinars. Um, so if you're a channel member, you, you see this, the link is, is here. Um, so yeah, Patreon, all Patreon supporters, all, uh, channel members, you are invited to my two monthly webinars. Um, we're going to do future of humanity Friday, April 5th, and that will be, um, we're going to be covering like cybernetics and transhumanism and posthumanism. maybe longevity. We'll see. Um, I, I, I do the final planning day of, because, um, well, the news is moving so fast. All right, back to the show. Um, so this was uh, a day or two ago I ran this. Like, are we on track for AGI by September of this year? So 36%, and this is, this is more than it used to be, um, said yes. So I was, like, pleasantly surprised by that. Again, you know, it's entirely possible that I'm going to be wrong. Wisdom of the masses might apply here. Y'all might be right. 64% um, said not happening. So we'll see, but this is also 8,000 votes. So like, this is, this is a pretty good cross section of my audience. Um, and time will tell, right? I was, I was actually thinking I'll probably do a, a live stream, like at the end of September where we'll just like, Hey, did we do AGI? Yes or no. Um, and we'll see, we'll see. It'll be fun either way. All right. So then, um, oh, this, this poll was okay. So Sam Altman mentioned Q star and Lex Friedman. Um, what was it last week? And, you know, so he's talked about it twice publicly, as far as I know. First time he said it was in an unfortunate leak. And then on Lex, he said, we're not ready to discuss it. Now, the fact that this is something that, that is, that they're playing their cards very close to their vest, makes me think that Q-Star is really important, whatever it happens to be. Um, all of the other papers about Q-Learning and A-Star and those other sorts of things seem to indicate that it really helps with math. And math, of course, underpins pretty much all of science. So we have a language model, but if they also become like multimodal and master math and physics, then like it's game over. Like you have, you have an Einstein in a box. And so I wanted to get a temperature check and see like what you guys feel about uh, Q star. So right now it's pretty much a natural distribu distribution that favors a little bit on the side of, you know, it's pretty cool. So 18% say it's Epic. So it's like tier five, 21% legendary, 
uh, 42% middle of the road, and then, you know, 18% say, like, man, whatever, squ damn squib. Um, let's see. All right. Next one is, this feels like the deep breath before the plunge. Do you feel it too? And um, this actually really surprised me because I just woke up one morning a few days ago and I was just like, what is going on? Like, things are changing so fast and they are changing faster. Like, okay, hey, I just wanted to, like, read the room. And it's not just me. It's almost two-thirds of you say, like, yes, this is... Like, and you see the tweets from like open AI people where they're like, you know, I hope you enjoyed the last 12 months because it's going to be, you know, nothing but more, more of the same. And this is, you know, the, what did they say? Like the last 12 months was the most boring 12 months and for the rest of human history, which it's like, yeah, that, that, that checks out. Yeah. And 15% said no. And 23% were confused. <laughs> they were confused or, uh, or maybe they just, I don't know. There was some really interesting comments. Some people are very thirsty in the comments, which is a weird reaction to this. Anyways, um, I think that was it. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So, of course, most important, uniforms back. Uh, yeah, that was that was a strong majority. It's interesting because some people are super, super supportive. They're like, oh, my God, yes. And other people are like, oh, my, like the, the level of dysregulation that a handful of people have over a T-shirt. Because in the grand scheme of things, this is just a T-shirt. It's not a uniform. It's not a jersey. It's just a T-shirt that happens to look like a uniform. And so, like, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't have, like, swastikas and stuff on it. But some people get so mad about my T-shirt choice. I don't know. Anyways, I like it. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. No, sorry. I was wrong. Um, so, also on the Lex Friedman podcast, Sam Altman gave his personal definition of AGI, which was more or less... Um, you know, a system that can significantly accelerate scientific research. Um, and I, I think probably what he, that was probably like a you know, watered down version. He's probably meaning like something that can fully automate all scientific research. Kind of if I had to infer. And this, this, this uh, aligns with kind of what he's said before in interviews, which is like, you know, oh, chat GPT isn't AGI because it can't invent new physics, which, you know, that's like, that's a pretty valid, valid thing. And so I, I asked the audience, like, what do you guys feel about this? Again, we got a pretty good natural distribution, um, so nothing to write home about there. Uh, let's see. Um, and then, yes, this is, you know, I, I already covered this one, so I think that's it for polls today. But, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, it's definitely an interesting time to be alive. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for more polls because I do want um, to figure out, like, what do people want from AGI? Like, what is it going to look like? So we'll probably split this up. You might actually have seen the poll before you see this video. Anyways, cheers.